Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about a low pass Butterworth filters. This we are discussing the part one about the filter. Basically, electronic filter means many frequencies are there. I want to select a particular band of frequencies. We go for electronic filters. Input all frequencies are given, output only the desired frequency components I'll get. Low pass filter. The name itself gives the idea. Low pass means it will pass the only lower frequencies. Now this is a block diagram. I'm giving a higher frequency, lower frequency both. It's a higher frequency, lower frequency, but output is it passes only lower frequency. And the circuit for a low pass filter is R and C. All of us know DC capacitive blocks DC and the lows AC therefore higher frequencies are grounded lower frequencies are passed through the order of the filter means the maximum number of delay elements used in that particular filter circuit the first order filter we use one capacitor the second order filter we may use two capacitors or one inductor one capacitor the third order filter we use three capacitors or maybe two inductors and one capacitor order of the filter first order filter roll off rate will be 20 db per decade second 40 db per decade 60 db per decade for third order fourth order we have a 80 db per decade or 6 db per octave for the first order second order 12 db per octave third order 18 db and fourth order 24 db per Octavia. This is how it looks 20 dB per decade, 40 dB per decade, and 60, 80 dB per decade. Ideally, we want like this a 90 degree corner, but which is very difficult to get practically. So, first order low pass Butterworth filter circuit diagram. We have the RC combination, only one C we are using because it's the first order which is connected to the non-inverting terminal and input impedance of this op amp is very high hence there is no problem when you connect a filter circuit to the operational amplifier non-inverting terminal the gain is using this R1 and RF 1 plus RF by R1 will get so based on the gain requirement R1 and RF are chosen and it is a first order Hence, we have a 20 dB per decade roll off. Now, we will discuss the derivation for gain equation V0 by V in equal to. Only consider this part of a circuit V1 equal to voltage across a capacitor is given by. All of us know voltage I want across this divided by total resistance how we write. Minus J X divided by R minus J X. Total input what I have given is a V in. V now j equal to square root of minus 1 and minus j x c is a 1 divided by 2 pi f c. This value I will write in the equation number 1. These two I will write down and I will simplify. I will fill this value again into V in 1 by r minus j x is there r. This I will fill as it is. I will take a LCM now and I will rewrite. Now we got after simplification cancelling this and this we will get V1 equal to V divided by J2 pi FCR plus 1. V0 equal to 1 plus RF by R1 into whatever the input I am giving V1 to the terminal non-inverting here. 1 plus RF by R1 into V1 is just now we have written the equation in the previous slide. Fill it and now we have to simplify this. AF divided by 1 plus J F by F H into V in V right. What is the AF? What you have taken 1 plus RF by R1 is a AF and F is a frequency of an input signal and F H is a cutoff frequency of a filter. How to calculate cutoff frequency? 1 divided by 2 pi R C. The gain magnitude and phase angle equation in the polar form you can write like this. Pause and say this. The first order low pass Butterworth filter 
So equation what we got at very low frequency when f is very less than fh, when f is very less than fh, almost v0 by v in what we will get is near af. At f equal to fh, this becomes 1 by f by fh equal to 1 plus 1 root 2 will get. Therefore, f by root 2 will get. And f is very high compared to the fh. f is very high compared to the fh, I will get some number. Therefore, v0 by v in will become less than af. Low pass filter has a constant gain af from 0 to fh hertz. At fh gain is 0.707 of a maximum what I have and after that fh it will start decreasing and the gain decreases in the rate 20 dB per decade. fh is a called as cutoff frequency. How to design the filter? First choose a value of a high cutoff frequency. Then select a C not the R. You have to select C less than or equal to 1 microfarad. Then you calculate the r using the equation 1 by 2 pi f into c. Finally, select the r1 and r2, rf based on the gain how much you want. All of us know gain is given by 1 plus rf by r1. Let us take one simplest example. 1 kilohertz and gain is 2. fh is given as 1 kilohertz. Assume the c 0 0.01 microfarad and find out r using the equation. It becomes 15.9 kilo ohm. Passband gain 2, so take R1 equal to RF, R1 equal to RF equal to 10 kilo ohm, 1 plus RF by R1, you will get 2. Write these all, so first circuit diagram and all these values, then it becomes a design. Frequency scaling. What is the frequency scaling? It is a basically a procedure used to convert an original cutoff frequency to a new cutoff frequency. It is accomplished multiplying either R or C, not both. This you have to read it twice. Any one you have to multiply by the ratio of original cutoff frequency to the new cutoff frequency. If you understood well and good, otherwise let us take one simple example. Using a frequency scaling technique, convert 1 kilohertz, what you have designed in the previous slide, to a new cutoff frequency, how much? 1.6 kilohertz. How to do it? Procedure is very simple. To you want to change 1 to the 1.6. Simply take original cutoff frequency divided by new cutoff frequency. You will get 1 kilohertz by 1.6 kilohertz. 0.625 you got answer. Simply multiply this with the register. You will get a new value. If this value is not available. Take a potentiometer 10 kilo ohm. Now you recalculate FH. You should get how much? 1.6 kilohertz. So far whatever I discussed is a including part 1 and now about the filter, what the filter work, types of filters, use commonly used filters, frequency response of the filters, active and passive filters, first order Butterworth filter, time domain, frequency domain, gain equation for low pass filter, design of filters, frequency scaling. So far this much you have finished. In the second order Butterworth low pass filter, we use a RC RC and the stop band response is having a 40 dB per decade because I have a second order it's a 40 dB and FH is given by 1 by 2 pi square root of R2 R3 C2 C3 remember the FH and this is a voltage gain the magnitude is given by pause here just try to remember it Gain is given by 1 plus RF by R1. The filter design. Steps are very simple. Identical to the first order. Choose FH. Set the R2, R3 equal to R. C2, C3 equal to C. Then choose a C less than or equal to 1 micro farad. Calculate the value of R using the same equation. But one important point which you have to remember is gain should be equal to 1.586 gain should be equal to 1.586 so choose r1 less than or equal to 100 kilo ohm then choose rf such that gain should be always 1.586 af is given by 1 plus rf by r1 take one simple example 
low pass filter and uh, 1 kilohertz cvp c3 equal to 0.0047 microfarad r1 is 27k then r2 r3 i have to find out using the equation i got 33.86 use a 33 kilo ohm potentiometer rf equal to 0.586 into 27 kilo ohm what i have chosen i got 15.82 may not be available use a 20 kilo ohm port and adjust to that substitute the value of f from 10 hertz to maximum in this equation theoretically calculate the gain practically you may observe but theoretically you can calculate those two values you can compare summary whatever you have discussed so far pause or you can rewind this is the reference is a guidebook book for more information visit these links thanks for watching this video share this video if you like and please subscribe this channel thank you